This might be the first good step towards ending the fighting. Both the Sudanese Armed Forces and Rapid Support Forces signed in the Saudi city of Jeddah a declaration of commitment. The agreement intends to lay the ground for humanitarian assistance to resume and put talks to reach a short-term ceasefire a priority. This agreement that came out today as a result of your honest desire that the brotherly Sudanese people avoid the repercussions of ongoing military conflict. This agreement will secure the basic humanitarian aid to the affected, hoping that this honest desire that we sensed in your delegations during the talks would help reach a permanent end to this conflict. The United Nations, the African Union and the Intergovernmental Authority on Development welcomed the signing of the Jeddah Declaration by the two disputing parties, urging the two sides to translate these commitments into meaningful action on the ground. The trilateral mechanism called the move an important step towards alleviating human suffering and protecting the lives and dignity of civilians in Sudan. The UN will spare no efforts to assist in the declaration's implementation and uh, will continue to deliver humanitarian aid, ceasefire or not. The army reaffirmed its commitment to the last agreement, while the RSF said its delegation had tabled a set of demands in the Jeddah negotiations. The declaration was not a ceasefire. After the sign-in, both disputing parties returned to fighting. Airstrikes and artillery pounded Khartoum, despite committing to protecting civilians and allowing for humanitarian access.